800 M Bada Boom Box. Number 65 Blanche Devereaux. B222 two, 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 Bumble Beatdown. Number 247 Dive Hard. B1T Fang Dangle. Number 314 Gertrude Awakening. 1618. Goldie Mean. Number eight, Hannah Cuffs. Number eight, four, seven, Hello Sailor. 73 BC, I am Spazicus. D4, Magic Missile. 131, Micro Mall, I'm sorry, Molly Tom. And 48 UM is Micro Mauler. Number V5, Scarlet Osneria. 987, Splatter Alice. Number 22, Tango de Muerte. C7, The Manipulator. Number 13, Twisted Halo. And 27, Wildberry Punch. El Machete, Rita Slayworth, and Shrimp Trampy on the bench for the Unholy Rollers. Let's hear it for your Unholy Rollers. Now, introducing their opponents for this evening a team of roller derby superheroes, the Green Machine. In a world where chaos reigns on the flat track, one team stands ready to protect honor and integrity and to fight evil on eight wheels. From the four lakes to the furthest reaches of the universe, your team of roller derby superheroes, the Quad Squad! All right, first we have number 18 feet, Alligator! Number 120 is Battle Frog! Number 3 AM, Booty Collins. Number L5, Broke Back Jack. Number 796, Conan the Librarian. Number 6 by 9, Girl Friday. Number Oi, Scooter Riddance. Number 86, Guacamole. Number I, four I is Hammer Abbey. 1904, KY Julie. F22, Lunatrick. Number 15 is Mac the Knight. Number 918, Pied Typer. B52, Sequin Destroy Her. Number 313 is Slayhound. Number 906 is Super Youper. Number 350, Susie Homewrecker. And number 7 is When Do You Wanna Die? They are supported by the, on the from the bench by La Biblio Reca, Kate Silver, and Dame Judy Bench. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2015 Quad Squad! And officiating for this game, we have Eddie Lizard, Death Nelly, Bjorn to Kill, Johnny Zebra, Thaco, Uno Mas, Irma Gerd, Referer, Chaotic Neutral, with our non-skating officials, Mac Romaniac, 
Strife of Riley, Dread Gazebo, Agru, Captain Emo, Brazzle Dazzle, Jezebello Kitty, Mr. Welch, Ms. Informed, Keister Bunny, Modus Pawns, and Show Nuff. Gavno and Roadblock. And now, before we begin this next bout, if you are able, please rise and remove any headgear as we welcome the Black Hawks Men's Choir to sing our national anthem. Thank you to the men of Blackhawk Church. Let's hear it for them. All right, looks like we're going to have our teams lining up for the first jam. This, again, a very important game for these two teams, possibly determining who is going to be the second-placed team to play up against the Res Dolls in next, our next uh, championship bout. That's right, Rich. We've got Hammer Abby up on the Plan B Jammer line skating against Magic Missile for this first jam of the bout. The whistle blows and both skaters are off trying to fight their way through to determine who's going to be the lead jammer. Looks like Magic Missile is going to sneak around the inside to take lead jam for this first jam for the Unholy Rollers. And Hammer Abby fighting past Micro Mauler. Last line of defense there for the Unholy Rollers. She gets by right as Magic Missile approaches the back of the pack on her scoring point pass, point scoring pass. And Magic Missile calls that jam off after scoring four points for the Unholy Rollers. Looks like the quad squad picked up. Picked up a point there too, so. All right, looks like uh, lining up on the Plan B Jammerland, we have Gertrude Awakening jamming for the Unholy Rollers. She'll be jamming against Sequin Destroy Her for the Quad Squad. And Sequin Destroy Her playing a little bit of defense by not trying to um, get Gertrude Awakening to the outside. Gertrude Awakening taking the inside line and pushing up the Quad Squad Slayhound. Until she passes through and is lead jammer, Gertrude Awakening for the Unholy Rollers. And Gertrude Awakening calls that jam off after she makes her point scoring pass and gets two more points, three more points, excuse me, for the Unholy Rollers. That brings the Unholy Rollers to seven points. Quick lead from the quad squad who have one point, but it's Still very early in the bout here. Lining up on that jammer line. Looks like we have Fang Dangle jamming for the Unholy Rollers. She'll be jamming against Booty Collins on the quad squad. And Booty trying to take an initial inside line there. She gets pushed to the inside, gets right back in, makes her way through. Fang Dangle trying to fight back and forth through the back of the pack, but Booty Collins Lead jammer for the quad squad. It looks like Fang Dangle has made it through the pack and is going to work on trying to catch up to Booty Collins. 
Cody Collins gets through most of the pack, ends up with a little bit of resistance from Micro Mahler, and calls off the jam. And it looks like the Quad Squad brings their points up to four. Unholy Rollers at seven. On the jammer line, Hammer Abbey up against Splatter Alice of the Unholy Rollers. All right, looks like going back to the action, we have Hammer Abbey jamming for the quad squad up against Splatter Alice for the Unholy Rollers. Both jammers are working their way through the pack. Looks like Splatter Alice has been recycled to the back of the pack by Gouda Riddance, but sneaks around the inside to just barely take lead jam from Hammer Abbey. Hammer Abbey following Splatter Alice around the track, right on her tail, but Splatter Alice calls that jam off before either of them can score any points. Just switch it out and try again is her motto. But usually when a jammer is approaching a pack and all the opposing blockers are right there to greet her and the other jammer is also approaching that pack, it's a good idea to call that jam off yeah. and just reset. So up on the jammer line, let's see who we've got, Rich. Looks like we have Magic Missile jamming for the Unholy Rollers with Sequin Destroy Her jamming for the Quad Squad. Whistle blows, both jammers going through the pack. Looks like... Oh, Sequin Destroy Her. Looks like she got knocked down in a pack of Unholy Rollers. That looks like Scarlet Osneria did pick up a penalty during that. Magic Missile breaks her way out of the pack first with Sequin Destroy Her right behind, but Magic Missile and the Unholy Rollers have lead jam. Magic Missile get, finds a l nice line right there on the inside. Sneaks through with three points. Sequin right behind her with two for the quad squad. We got a four point game, folks. Who's here cheering on our quad squad tonight? How many of you fans out there want to see those superheroes bring the win? All right, and how many Unholy Roller fans do we have in the audience tonight? Both teams battling it out. We've got Gertrude Awakening on the jammer line fighting against Booty Collins. Booty Collins jamming for the quad squad. It looks like she and a bunch of skaters go down in the back there. Meanwhile, Gertrude Awakening tries to get out of the front of the pack but is made to recycle back and around. Booty Collins gets up, gets out of that pack and gets lead jam for the quad squad. Yep, she is followed closely by Gertrude Awakening. So we'll see how they, each of these jammers handle the pack as they go through. Looks like Booty Collins is going to get through as many skaters as she can and call off the jam. Yep, she snuck her body right around one of the skaters. I believe got the points for any skaters in the penalty box and called it right away before she was caught by uh, the Unholy Rollers jammer. So like lining up on the Plan B jammer line, we have Fang Dangled jamming for the Unholy Rollers up against Hammer Abbey for the Quad Squad. Hammer Abbey jamming and captaining the Quad Squad. Tonight she'll also be playing with Damsel Trash and performing at the Inferno during our after party. Join us there after the action. Speaking Fang Dangled. Yeah, speaking of action, Fang Dangled has broken through to take lead jam for the Unholy Rollers. Hammer Abby is through as well, working on making her scoring pass. However, she is not your lead jammer. And Fang Dangled gets through the pack, calls the jam off before Hammer Abby can score any points. Fang Dangled getting four points for the Unholy Rollers, bringing them to 14 points. Quad Squad at eight. Fast. Fast jams going. Jammers are getting through and calling the jam off, getting four points, or as we like to say, hitting it and quitting it. Yep, very so when good you're the strategy. lead jammer, you want to hit it, you want to get those points, and then quit it. We've got Littles or Susie Homewrecker on the quad squad jammer line. It looks she like she's jamming against Splatter Alice for the Unholy Rollers. Looks like Susie Homewrecker was knocked outside, forced to recycle to the back of the pack. Yeah, Both tangled. jammers still fighting their way through the pack. 
Quad Squad blockers forming quite the formidable wall there, trying to keep Splatter Alice back. Really keeping her, trying to, look like they tried to push her out to the in, inside, not quite successful. And what I see a lot of times here is uh, jammers fighting against four blockers. So that one jammer is doing her darndest to try and get past that blocker wall of defense. Meanwhile, the other team is playing the same defensive wall. Yep. In the meantime, it looks like Splatter Alice has broken through to take lead jam for the Unholy Rollers. Susie Homewrecker has broken through for the quad squad as well. And Splatter Alice gets through that pack, passes all four blockers, and gets four points for the Unholy Rollers. Yep. Calling off that jam as she does so, bringing the Unholy Rollers score up to 18, Quad Squad 8, with 21 minutes remaining in this first half of the bout. And we got two jammers up there on the Plan B jammer line, jamming for the Unholy Rollers. We've got Magic Missile, D4. She's going up against Girl Friday, 6 by 9 jamming for the Quad Squad. Magic Missile making it through. She gets lead jammer for the Unholy Rollers. That Girl Friday, though, hot on her heels, and she looks hungry for it. And Magic Missile breaks her way into the pack, turns, and as she gets knocked to the inside, calls that jam off. I'd like to take a quick moment to give a shout out, a little thank you to one of our sponsors, Ale Asylum, brewed and bottled in Madison, fermented insanity. If you'd like, you can head on down to one of the beer uh, venues out in the front lobby there and grab yourself uh, an Ale Asylum brew, if I'm not mistaken. I believe you're right. Hopalicious is, um, I think, an option. And we've also got some Pabst Blue Ribbon beer out there. PBR me ASAP. Or check out that Ale Asylum Hopalicious. That's delicious, too. All right, getting back to the action. Looks like we have Gertrude Awakening jamming for the Unholy Rollers. She has picked up a back block penalty and is on her way to the Monkey Bar Gym penalty box. That means that Hammer Abby and the Quad Squad do have a power jam on their hands. And meanwhile, Hammer Abby is trying to get past a wall of unholy rollers. Taken to the inside by Molly Tov and now keeping up in the front by, um, I have a spazicus. Bumble Beatdown and Tango de Muerte. She finally gets through and is lead jam for the Quad Squad. Eye for eye, Hammer Abbey. Hammer Abbey coming back around to engage the pack. Getting stuck back behind those Unholy Rollers blockers again. They are unholy Rollers doing a good job of defense, trying to slow down that jammer, but Hammer Abbey gets through. And she does pick up a mini of Madison Grand Slam and five points for the quad squad. Looks like Gertrude Awakening has been released from the penalty box and is back engaging the pack. Seems to have a little bit of trouble with one of her skates. She was fixing something on that. Yeah, it looks like she might have lost a toe stop there. Well, that jam ends, bringing the Unholy Rollers score to 19, Quad Squad up to 13. And we're gonna have a quick timeout. That gives us a chance to tell you a little bit about our activities tonight. Um, at halftime, or the end of the intermission, between bouts two and three, we're gonna have a DD wheel toss. You may have seen some of the um, Dairyland dolls walking around, but you can also check out their table next to the merch table. Buy one wheel for $3 and get, or get two wheels for $5. You'll be able to toss those to closest to the cowbell and possibly win a prize. Yeah, while you're over checking out the Dairyland dolls table, you can stop by our merch booth and buy a shout out for a dollar that does go to support our bout charity for today. I'd like to read a quick shout out for you right now. Bunnies can be raccoons if they want to, as long as a pine cone says so. Bay, 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 bay. Bay, 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 bay. All right, thanks to whoever got that shout out and made you read it over the mic. <laughs> but back to action on the track here. It looks like we've got Fang Dangle da um, jamming for the Unholy Rollers. And she'll be going up against Sequin Destroyer of the Quad Squad, but Sequin Destroyer is called off of the track for a penalty. She'll be spending some time in the Monkey Bar Gym penalty box. 
Meanwhile, Fang Dangled making her way around the track and scoring five points for the Unholy Rollers. like the quad squad blockers are ready for Fang Dangle as she comes back around and make another scoring pass. Likewise, the unholy roller blockers were ready for a sequin destroyer as she was released from the penalty box. Looks like Fang Dangle has been recycled to the back of the pack by quad squad skater Ali Gator. As sequin destroyer makes her way through the pack, but no points scored there. I think that that jam was called off with three more points for the unholy rollers. We've got some groups out there tonight that I'd like to give a shout out for. And if you are interested in tickets um, for your group, just email group tickets at madrollandolls.com at least 10 days before any bout. The Mad Roland Dolls would like to welcome the American Family Insurance to the bout tonight. Let's hear it for you out there, American Family Insurance. Thanks for coming. Yep, getting back to the action here. Looks like we have Splatter Alice jamming for the Unholy Rollers. She's just taken lead jam for her team. She is skating up against Booty Collins for the Quad Squad, who is still working up against, it looks like, well, the in entire blocking team of, of the Unholy Rollers. Unholy Rollers but all blocking uh, at the front there, yep. And Booty Collins not able to make it past uh, Tango de Muerte, dive hard, bumble beat down in the manipulator. Meanwhile, Splatter Alice coming around as well. Booty Collins out of the pack. And Splatter Alice gets through, scores some points, and calls that jam off. Yeah, it looks like she did end up picking up a mini of Madison Grand Slam with that last jam. So that brings our score to Unholy Rollers 32, Quad Squad 13. And on the jammer line now, we've got Magic Missile lining up for the Unholy Rollers, jamming against Girl Friday from the Quad Squad. Action begins. Magic Missile just look, looking to shoot straight through the pack there. Meeting with some harsh resistance, but does take lead jam for the Unholy Rollers. She takes lead jam after she kind of sneaks through on that inside, doing a nice little move we've been doing in practice. Yeah, it looks like in the meantime, Girl Friday has made it through the pack. A Magic Missile is going to finish her first scoring pass and call off the jam before the quad squad can put any more points on the board. Smart jam, keeping the Unholy Rollers in the lead. Another group here tonight that the Mad Roland Dolls would like to welcome is the Open House Gender Learning Community of UW Housing. We would also like to welcome the Super Youper Super Fans to the bout tonight. <laughs> Hammer Abby on the jammer line, taken to the outside there as she tries to fight against the other jammer, Gertrude Awakening from the Unholy Rollers. Yeah, it looks like Gertrude Awakening almost made it through around the inside to take lead jam, but got knocked down inside, allowing Hammer Abby to break through and take lead jam for the quad squad. She is followed closely by Gertrude Awakening, though. Both jammers speeding around the track. Hammer Abby through the pack and calls that jam off. Quick four points for the quad squad. Nicely executed. Just what the quad squad need are some nice quick points like that to get back um, to take the lead from the Unholy Rollers. But still, 14 minutes left in this first period of our bout on the jammer line for the quad squad. We've got Luna Trick. Luna Trick will be up there jamming against Fang Dangled on the Unholy Rollers. Fang Dangled knocked to the outside by Susie Homewrecker. Recycles around to the back of the pack quick and oh, a nice hit by Allie Gator. And I'm watching the back of the pack. Meanwhile, up front, it looks like Luna Trick is out of the pack. Lead jammer for the quad squad. Oh, 
Uh, looks like Lunatrick picked up a back block penalty there, so she's going to be spending 30 seconds in the Monkey Bar Gym penalty box. That she and two of the unholy rollers went well. right to the outside there, and she must have hit one of them on the back, knocking them down. Yeah, looks like that means this is a power jam for Fang, Fang Dangled and the unholy rollers. And of course, since Lunatrick was the lead jam, that, that means, means the jam will go two whole minutes. Yes, indeed it will. Fang Dangle just has to keep skating out there. Up against the likes of Allie Gator, Super Youper, Little Susie Homewrecker, and Booty Collins. And she gets through that pack, but not without quite a few hits there. She picks up a Mini of Madison Grand Slam for the Unholy Rollers. Looks like both jammers are going to be approaching the back of the pack. Lunatrick back in the pack. Back and also on back the in track, the penalty box. But now back in the penalty box. It looks like she was called out for another penalty. And that keeps Fang Dangled on a roll with her Minnie Madison Grand Slams. Another one and five more points for the Unholy Rollers. Quad Squad Blocker's gonna do their best to keep Fang Dangled at bay. And the jam is called off. Two minutes have elapsed. Unholy Rollers bring their points up to 51. Quad Squad at 21. Still a nice job by the Quad Squad um, Blockers out there keeping Fang Dangled um, using her great footwork out there on the track, needing to get back and forth. All right, looks like lining up on the jammer line for the Unholy Rollers, we have Splatter Alice. Luna Trick starting this jam for the quad squad in the penalty box. And Splatter Alice through the pack. Unholy Rollers lining up behind a wall of quad squad there, tried to help their jammer through the pack by attacking right as Splatter Alice makes her way through. She's around the track already again and scoring a Mini Madison Grand Slam for the Unholy Rollers. Looks like there has been a star pass to Sequin Destroyer. She is jamming for the quad squad, but the jam is going to be called off before she can grab any points. Splatter Alice calling that jam off for the Unholy Rollers. Do have a number of shout outs here we'd like to read for you. Happiest of birthdays, Mr. Brian, with much love from Megan. Happy birthday, Brian. Get your shout out read by going on over to the merch table, giving a dollar to our Bout Charity tonight, Community Shares of Wisconsin, and writing down your message on a nice little slip of paper. We get some similar shout outs each time, I know, but I like to see those coming back around. I'd also like to let you all know tonight during the bout, the Quad Squad has a contest. When they are finished with their bout, if you can come on over to their fan table and tell name one of the two Quad Squad alumni that skated in the record bout today, you can win tickets for the finals bout. Win a ticket for the finals bout by naming one of the two Quad Squad alumni that skated in the record bout today. And the Unholies also have a scavenger hunt going on for tickets to champs. So grab a sheet at the merch table, find the things on their scavenger hunt, and bring that to their fan table after the bout. Another quick announcement before we get back to the action here. Mary Ann Thurber, we, are, we still have your credit card down at the op box office, so Mary Ann Thurber, please report to the box office to claim your credit card. All right, the action has begun again, and Magic Missile jamming for the Unholy Rollers, just shooting right through the pack there on her point scoring pass after picking up lead jammer status for the Unholy Rollers. She's jamming against... Pied Typer for the Quad Squad. Pied Typer just getting through the pack, but Magic Missile calls it off before she can score any points for the Quad Squad. D4 just is a, as fast as a missile there, a Magic Missile with her speed. She's Yeah, she definitely rolled a natural 20 on her speed. That's right. 
Mirab, she's wearing some skates of plus five to speed, too. That could be. And on the jammer line for the Unholy Rollers, we've got Gertrude Awakening. She'll be skating against jammer for the quad squad, Hammer Abby. Looks like it's going to be Gertrude Awakening breaking through first to take lead jam for the Unholy Rollers. Hammer Abby right on her tail, though. Just a little bit behind her. Both skaters skating as fast as they can to reach that pack and score some points. Gertrude Awakening hitting a pack of green and calling that jam off. Yeah, it looks like she called it off before either jammer could score any points. So our score remains Unholy Rollers 69, Quad Squad 21, with eight minutes remaining in this first half. And on the Plan B jammer line, for the Quad Squad, we've got B-52, Sequin, destroy her. She'll be going up against B1T, or Bit Fang Dangled, for the Unholy Rollers. Well, looks like Sequin Destroy Her is going to break through first and take lead jam for the Quad Squad. Goldie Mean trying to hold her up in the front, but she just gets right through there and is almost a whole lap ahead of Fang Dangled, who's still trying to, way, trying to find her way past. Looks like a train of quad squad there, Alligator trying to take her to the inside. Uh, and Sequin destroy her back around. Fights her way past the Unholy Rollers and calls the jam. Four more points for the quad squad. Yep, certainly a, a bit of a score difference there, but that is by no means insurmountable. Unholy rollers off to um, a lead here, a quick lead in the first period. But that doesn't mean the quad squad uh, can't take this back in one, two, or th three or more jams. We'll just wait to see what happens. We've got Booty Collins lined up for the quad squad, jamming a power jam because it looks like Fang Dangled was called to the penalty box right at the end of that last jam. Booty Collins through the pack. She is lead jammer for the quad squad. Looks like she's gonna start trying to make her scoring pass here. See how her team can help her get through this wall of gold and red. And that wall of gold and red recycling themselves up to the front of the pack there to hold Booty Collins back. She's fighting her way through as Fang Dangled makes her way back onto the track from the penalty box. Fights her way through the pack, but is not lead jam. And Booty Collins calls that jam before Fang Dangled can get around the track and score more points. Bringing the quad squad to 30 points, Unholy Rollers at 69. Let's hear it for both teams. All right, thank you all for coming out here to see Roller Derby. We've got two great teams playing tonight. Fighting to see who is going to be playing for the championships. On the jammer line, who do we got out there, Rich? Looks like we have Splatter Alice jamming for the Unholy Rollers. She will be jamming against Haber Abbey for the Quad Squad. Both jammers getting up to the front of the pack. Oh, and Splatter Alice just slightly ahead of Hammer Abbey. She takes lead jammer for the Unholy Rollers. Yeah, it looks like Hammer Abbey took a little bit of a spill there as, exit, as she was exiting the pack. So she is now back in the pack while Splatter Alice has made a ran, uh, her way around for a scoring pass. And that brings Splatter Alice through the pack and looking to score a Minnie Madison Grand Slam as she gets past all four blockers and jammer there. Oh, Hammer Abby taking, taking a tumble there. And, then, and it looks like she is down. She may have hit her head, so we'll have the EMTs come out and make sure that everything is okay. Thank you for your patience.
thank you all for your patience as we make sure our, one of our skaters is all right. We know this is a full contact sport and these sorts of... It looks like she is going to be all right. Thank you to everybody for your patience and respect. And thanks again to our EMTs for being out there and being the rock stars that they are. And Quad Squad is going to be taking a timeout, making sure everybody's getting focused. Hammer Abby will take a few jams to make sure that she is all right. That's one of the many possibilities of these um, full contact, hard hitting sports. Yes, indeed. The possibility of um, injury and um, sometimes concussions, just like in football or any other sport. So while we wait to get um, our bout started again, let's do a few more shout outs. Yep. that you guys have had. Yeah, we definitely have a, a good number up here, but please, <laughs> yeah, you can, can take this opportunity to head over to the merch table and put in a dollar for some more. All right, we've got a shout out to Penny and Molly. I love you more than I can say. Thank you for being in my life. Oh, isn't that sweet? Yep. And have I know Penny and Molly have gotten up to uh, Anali Masira or Kelly Geese from the Open House Learning Community. Please come up to the announcer's table if you're around. So it's an, an, an Anali Masira, and I apologize if I'm butchering, butchering the pronouncing of your name, or pronunciation of your name, or Kelly Geese. Please head on up to the announcer's table if you're present. Thank you. All right, another shout out to Rachel and Neil Davidson, who say, Gigum Reservoir Dolls. Gigum. Reservoir Dolls. Am I reading that? Yep, right? that's, that's them, Reservoir Dolls from Rachel and Neil Davidson. <laughs> so it looks like there was an official review there uh, called by the Quad Squad. They thought that perhaps a, uh, a high block penalty had occurred uh, by one of the uh, Unholy Roller skaters. However, the review uh, stands that such a penalty did not happen. So we will be resuming the action. Looks like down on the Plan B jammer line, we have Susie Homewrecker jamming for the quad squad up against Magic Missile for the Unholy Rollers. Magic Missile just sneaking by on that inside. It looks like she floated over one of the quad squads standing on the line and just jumped over her, getting lead jam for the Unholy Rollers. And she gets around the track and through for a Mini Madison Grand Slam and five more points for the Unholy Rollers. That looks like in the meantime, Susie Homewrecker is through the pack, gonna try to murk her way through, but not before Magic Missile pulls through again for uh, looks like another four points and then calling off the jam. A little hop there at the end to jump over the apex while she finished her point scoring pass there. like to give another quick shout out to one of our many awesome sponsors, Anthology, a shop in downtown Madison featuring over 100 local and indie artists. We dig crafty chicks. Anthology. <laughs> and we've got B52 Sequin Destroy Her jamming for the Quad Squad. She's up against Gertrude Awakening for the Unholy Rollers. Both jammers still in the pack. Both jammers fighting against four of the opposing team's blockers, and they both get out. Sequin Destroy Her, however, is lead jammer for the quad squad. Sequin Destroy Her will be hitting the pack first, trying to get past the Unholy Rollers. She gets up to two and calls that jam, scoring two points for the quad squad before the Unholy Rollers can get any more points scored. That looks like it does bring our score to Unholy Rollers 82, Quad Squad 32. So a 50-point spread between these two teams with just about three minutes remaining in the first half of this bout. And on the jammer line, we've got Girl Friday from the Quad Squad jamming up against Fang Dangled from the Unholy Rollers.
Girl Friday trying to make her way past, and the Unholy Roller is keeping her in the back of the plat pack. Fang Dangled pushing the quad squad to the front. And getting out, she's lead jammer for the Unholy Rollers. Girl Friday right out of the pack and following fast behind her. Fang Dangled gets through the pack and calls that jam. Scoring another four points for the Unholy Rollers. Got a few more shout outs to read here. Jezebel O'Kitty has a posse, and it's pretty great. All right, Jezebel O'Kitty's posse is back. Yeah, I remember they Bring were. Bring in the shout out. They were shouting out to Jezebel O'Kitty a, uh, a few bouts ago. I remember that. Right. Good to have you back, posse. Getting down on the Plan B jammer line. Looks like we have Splatter Alice in gold jamming for the Unholy Rollers and Pied Typer in green jamming for the Quad Squad. Both jammers in the thick of it in the pack. Looks like Pied Typer getting knocked to the outside. I believe that was by Bada Boom Box on the Unholy Rollers. Twisted Halo knocking her about a little bit too, but she gets right back up, fights her way through there. And Splatter Alice having a tough time fighting her way against um, the blockers for the quad squad. Out there we've got When Do You Wanna Die and Super Youper. But she gets past him and Splatter Alice is lead jammer for Holy Rollers. Pied Typer fighting her way past some of the Unholy Rollers, making her way to the front of the pack. Just like Micra Mahler, the last line of defense against, uh, against Pied Typer. She does get through. She will now be able to begin her scoring pass. She gets right past there, and Splatter Alice, though, calls that jam off after she gets a mini of Madison Grand Slam for the Unholy Rollers. Bringing their total to 91 points. Quad Squad at 32 points. Do have a big shout out to Marcy Campbell, who drove 800 miles to see tonight's bout. Thank you, Marcy. Yeah, welcome to Derby, Marcy. Hope you're having a great time. All right, getting back down to the action on the track, we have Magic Missile jamming for the Unholy Rollers up against Booty Collins for the Quad Squad. Looks like Magic Missile wasting no time getting out and taking lead jam for the Unholies. However, Booty Collins is hot on her heels. Magic Missile back around the track. She gets past a few of the quad squad and calls that jam, picking up three points for the Unholy Rollers. And with that jam being called off, that does bring us to the halftime. Or, perhaps, oh, it looks like they may have called a timeout right before that ended. Timeout called. What does that yep. mean then for us? 